The Antichrist has won. The world has ended. Time to make some choices. Lucy can be saved. You have to go back. You have to destroy the rituals. Do you go to Wyoming? Or will you go to Kyoto? Come on, Kat. Join me and we can be our own kingdom. Now, what if you picked the other option? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Changed. Chronological, haunted, anomalous, interconnected narrative guide each decision. So this is a sequel to a game that I played a few years ago just called Chain. It's not so much a sequel regarding, like, a storyline or anything, or, or maybe there are some similarities to it, but... This is basically a game collection created by the haunted PS1 people. Um, and, well, some of the same creators as some of the demo discs that we've seen and everything. And there will be a variety of different changes that will be made. Because in the first game, it was basically linear. There were a total of 20 games. We went on a linear path and it was basically like the game of Telephone. So with the game of Telephone, one developer creates a game, the next developer, I guess, looks at the previous game or, or whatever, and then they make their own interpretation of what the, what the story is. So as a brief summary of that game, a woman named Miss Blanche begins holding a torch and goes on a strange journey. She's a participant in some kind of project and ends up drowning. She's later reborn. And then a man says that he likes her persistence, living and dying over and over again, resetting the world to prevent the end of humanity, despite it being inevitable. The universe begins again, and Miss Blanche picks up her torch. So it basically, 20, 20 different games, we go through them all, and it basically loop, loops around onto each other. This game, you know, as I said, there may be some similarities, but here's what it says on the itch.io page. Changed fact sheet. Changed is a collaborative, is a collaboration between devs from the haunted PS1 community. Games were developed one after the other, with a choice at the end of each game, leading to a game by another developer. Each developer only had the context of the games preceding them in their branch. Games in other branches were left hidden. There was no communication between any developers during development. And we see a variety of different developers down there, some of which we have seen from prior haunted PS1 titles. So we will probably be seeing, you know, them them again and everything. So why don't we go ahead and hop on into play? Let's go ahead and check out the read read me here. Change is a collaborative a collaboration between devs from the haunted PS1 community. Games were de uh, developed one after another. Okay, we've already kind of read this here. Each developer had the context of the games prior. Okay, we saw that. This project was organized and developed by Adam Pipe and Coulter Wermeyer. Wer With sound design by Victor Krauss and trailer was cut by O.O. Kalto. Thanks for playing. Okay. So we begin, as you can see, just just with the one game game here. Let's go ahead and inspect this first tape. So it says movie rental VHS tape cast. Neither Nathan. Okay, so neither Nathan and Francisco Lucas. So not neither Nathan, but both of them worked on another game that we played, Blood Borders, which I was um that was like a rage game for me. I I, I got I got I got no. Okay. <laughs> so we have WASD to move, spacebar to jump, left mouse button to interact, okay. Okay, then it says don't mess with time, please rewind by what does that say? Something Kronos. Hmm. Kronos, I guess the the, the god of time. 
and we can rotate the tape tape here you can t take a look at tape tape one hps tape one high capacity video ca cassette and we can inspect the tape as well i don't know really what, what it says on it but there it is really cool right okay well, I think it's time now to hop into our first game and make some choices. Now, as with all of the haunted PS1 things, it, they're all separate games, so it'll pop up in a new window. Then I got to capture that window. Okay, here we are. Hmm. Well, it looks like the whole entire world is basically destroyed. Everything is burning outside. That doesn't look very pleasant. Ugh, I gotta get into proper position here. There, there we go. Hmm. Here's our daughter, I presume. Lucy. Mommy, I'm scared. I'm scared too, honey. When can... When can we stop hiding? I don't know, darling. I'm sorry. Hmm. Let's have a look around. We got a television. I don't think this works anymore. Oh, that, that's kind of good. You, you, you can't can't watch the fake news now. So our, our house is all boarded up. We got it's like the apocalypse is happening. I can't do this. They're here for Lucy. Okay, so someone's trying to take Lucy. Now that I put the cabinet on the way, in the in the way, they might go away. Can we see who it is? Oh, they're really knocking hard. It's okay, Lucy, we will protect you. What's this, mommy? Who was at the door? I don't know, honey. Stay here. I hope it goes away. They're gone. Uh oh. No. They still got Lucy. Ah. Uh, that sucks. Lucy. Only one place now to go. They took Lucy. Time to see the old friend. Hmm. Well, it appears that we are in a... You haven't seen one of these, like a blockbuster, way back in the day. I used to love blockbuster. My grandmother and I would always go there, rent a... Oh, the jams. Anyway, I hope he can help me. Okay, action movies. I'm not a fan of movies where everything explodes. Honestly, same. Catherine, honestly, same. Romance movies. I think we can say that nowadays the romance is dead. Catherine, I, I, I agree. We haven't actually heard her name yet, but her name is 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 Catherine. I, I don't think it's it's mentioned it yet. Comedy movies. I wish I could laugh right now. Okay, so comedy movies are one that I do like out of the, the two that I've ever seen. Action movies? Nah. Romance movies? Nah. Comedy movies? Yes. Let's see what other kind of movies that we have here. Oh, Purple Velvet. He was hiding in here while the world ended out there. Comedy movies, yep. Yeah. Oh wait, 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 wait. Right here. Isn't that 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 is a horror movie, is it not? I forget what that is. I think I think Ryan would probably know what this one is. And what about this one? This one's also a horror movie, right? Is this um what's it called? Jason Vor Voorhees, yeah, but what is what is this one? This this doll thing. This, this is not comedy, unless you have a warped sense of comedy. These don't look like comedy. These look like horror movies. 
but it's on the comedy shelf. Thinner, okay. Yeah, because I, I, I recognize a, a few of these, so... Anyway, we got drama movies. I don't need drama to cry right now. Horror movies, yes, here we go. This became pretty much real... real me. Okay, I can't tell if some of these are horror movies, but... Watch them be like comedy movies, like they're all out of, out of place. Horror movies again. Drama movies. Man car time! This was her favorite movie. Oh, Lucy. Man car time. That is a good movie, isn't it? TV shows. Here we go. Why do people have time for this before the end of the world? Yeah. Worst ending. Video games. Here you go. I wish Lucy was here. She loved video games. Oh, the arcade. This machine is broken. Darn. And I have no time to play. Alright, I guess it's time to go see the God of Time. Hmm. Television. How is this whole place working if there's no more electricity? Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. We got a camera here. He's watching me. Alright. Door to back room. That's right, we're heading into the back rooms now. Oh, here he is. Here's the man himself. Well, well, well. Oh, this music is jamming. Look who's back after all this time. How can I help you, Catherine? He took her. The Antichrist took Lucy. Oh, am I? I don't even want to think about what they do to the children. It doesn't matter. I'll get her back. And how do you plan on doing that? If you don't mind me asking. This music is hitting hard right now. I mean, I can feel your pain, cat. But she's probably already gone. I know. I don't plan on getting her now. What do you mean? If the Antichrist never existed in the first place, he would never be able to get Lucy. Now I see. That's why you need my help. You're the only one that can help me, Kronos. Kronos, the god of time. I am flattered, Catherine, but my powers are limited even more now. You're... Blunt... Blunting? You know me well. Bluffing. Okay, some of the text is just it's a little bit hard to read. The Antichrist is too powerful to go against like this. And I don't see that I could... W what I... What would happen in this way? You owe me your life, Kronos. You're right. Tell me your plan. I want to make sure he's never born. I see. You know there was a lot of rituals in the past, so he could come to power today, right? Yes, I want to stop them. You have to. Each one of them, if you want all this to really work. I see various points in time which helped him climb to power. But I can't find the conjuration. 
It doesn't matter. I said I'll stop them all. I know, but you have to start by the conjuration ritual. And how can I discover which one was the conjuration one? I guess you won't. I have two possible dates and places. You have to choose between one of them. Okay, here's our first choice. Show them to me. Here they are. Okay, we have Wyoming 1968. First one is Wyoming 1968. The second is Kyoto in 1986. Shouldn't, you, shouldn't I go for the first one? Not exactly. If it's not the conjuration, you'd just be losing time. And time is the most precious thing you have right now. Okay, I think I'm ready to choose. Mmm, this music. All right, but first... If you need my help while you're in the past, use this hourglass. So, what's it going to be? Well, obviously, I think we know what the choice is going to be. Okay, so... From there, it, it heads back to the launcher, and now we get to make a choice. We can either choose Wyoming or Kyoto. It's like, come on now. Kyoto, all the way. Kyoto, all the way. There we go. So as you can see, it, it branched out, out the path to the left. If we chose Wyoming, it would have gone to the right. So now, because this is our first choice, if we zoom all the way out, we can kind of see all the different, different choices here. We can see all the little, like, purple dots. And if we were to go back here, if you click on this, you can actually fast forward to the ending decision to open up the other path. But we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to just, you know, pl play them in whatever order that I ended up choosing them in. So our first one up here, Kyoto, 1986. Go ahead and inspect it. Okay, this, this one's by Adam Pipe and Victor Krauss. Adam Pipe, um... Yeah, he, he pretty much worked on, I believe, the um, the first chain ch a chain game and a few other games like within that chain and and Ma and Mad and Madvent um, stuff as well. So we do WASD to move left left mouse button to advance dialogue or attack. Okay. Additional notes: textures generated with Doll E two by OpenAI. Yep, we got OpenAI in here. Okay, what does that say? I don't want to train to the. I kind of want to translate that. What is that an image of? Kind of looked a bit inappropriate for a moment. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me actually translate this. What does this say? Okay, translate. Oh, gosh, they kind of changed the translation app. Okay. Um, it says cassette tape. It says cassette tape on it. Okay, let's go ahead and inspect the actual tape. Looks like there's a note here. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay. Let us... Go ahead into our actual, uh... Game here. Kyoto, 1986. Okay. Ah, fascinating. Oh wow, we just really move fast, don't we? Look at that sky. That looks like bad news. Oh, that was actually Cat talking. Hey, can you hear me? Who's there? Kronos, is that you? Yes, I'm talking to you through your hourglass. Are you in 1986? Yes, I am, but something's wrong. The sky is all red looking. Damn. I think you're already too late. Darn you, Kronos. It's almost like uh, he didn't send us back far enough. 
too late. Aren't you the god of time? The Antichrist is messing with my powers. I, th I think I sent you to just after the conjuring started. After? Can I still stop it? Maybe. But it won't be easy. My readings tell me the conjuring is close. Good luck. Hmm. Okay. They were heading into this. This is a surprisingly ominous looking door. I have a feeling that's... I have a feeling it's inside this building. Alright, time to set things right. See you soon, Lucy. That's weird. Wait, this is just a regular office. Who would do a conjuring at their place of work? Oh, you would be surprised. People get up to some crazy stuff at work. Don't be fooled, cat. The types of conjuring up... The types that conjure up the devil. They kind of fit the office dweller lifestyle. Really? That's interesting. I better be careful then. What are people talking about, um... What the cassette tape said? I translated it. It, it did say cassette tape, yes. Yeah, we're written in uh, Japanese. That's weird they were in an office. Is the computer on? Oh. That's making a horrible sound. Cassette to tapeu. Yes. Hey, that lantern is floating. Be careful, Catherine. That's a haunted spirit. It's not friendly. Haunted spirit? That must mean we're getting closer. If only I had some kind of anti-haunted spirit device. The noise that this thing is making is sounds horrendous. Ah. Uh, let's get the sword. Let's get this sword, yes. Yes. Is that a sword? That's strange. Why would this be in an office? I might as well take it with me. Who knows what I might face. Did something was, was written there when I took it? Hmm, that sword is pretty heavy. Wearing a sword successfully has nothing to do with weight. You need to focus first, then strike. How do I focus? Try holding down the left mouse button. Yo, we just destroy- Yo! You won't be watching porn on a bit- On that any- any- anymore. No more porn for you guys. Here. Destroy all this crap. This wall is awfully different from the others. I wonder. Ah, this thing still survived. Okay. Oh yeah, we destroyed all of your porn computers. So yeah, when we hold it down, we automatically do that combo. The longer we hold it down, the more of a combo it is. You can't just click. You have to hold it down at least a little bit. It's a secret passage, of course. Be careful, cat. I sense bad energy coming from in there. Don't worry, I got this. Lucy's got a hell of a mom. Oh gosh, okay. I destroy these darn lanterns. Nice. Door opened up for us. Oh, now they're actually moving. Did 
Did he hear her? She's like, oh. These are porn lanterns. They have porn inside. And in the moment that they touch you, you just go into ecstasy. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm better to die. There we go. We kind of have to back up a little bit. If we kind of attack and then back up slightly. Oh, blue ones. Oh, gosh. So if I'm fighting later now, is the boss a pin pinata? That's funny. Careful, cat. You don't want to die. Cover our, some of our health. All right, good. I like this one. This one's really, really cool. Oh gosh. Oh god. We're definitely late. Yeah. This doesn't look good. Is this the conjuring? Yeah, it is. Hmm. I'm thinking. Is there something we can do? I have one idea, but it's a bit crazy. I'll take crazy in these crazy times. If you bust up this conjuring shrine enough, it might summon the Antichrist. And then I can kick his ass? You got that right. Uh, you got the right idea. Alright, let's wreck this. Oh, Antichrist. Oh, here he is. Here he comes. Who disturbs my conjuring? Uh-oh. Ah, oh, Catherine. It's you, and you brought Kronos along. <laughs> Do you really think your little time heist would work? Damn, of course. He saw us coming from miles away. Taste my blade, wretched scum. Whoa, cat, you're an eager one. <laughs> you took Lucy away. You will die for that. Jim, Jim Carrey, is that you? Is it? Is it Jim Carrey? <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> Alrighty then. You are kill me with that thrift shop sword. Shut up and die. Hold on just a moment before you do that. I have something to offer. What I see here is the opportunity for a wonderful trade. You want to get Lucy back, right? Don't listen to him, cat. Well, I also need something back. 
I'm missing a nice and fleshy host. Never. Hey, this is a pretty sweet deal I'm offering. Jump into the pit and become my host. And you're get to see Lucy again. Plus, you'll be super powerful. You could be rich and reunited with your daughter. Don't do a cat. It's a trap. Come on. You're no, you, you know you want the power to set things right. Okay. Here is our next decision. Do we become the Antichrist? Or do we fight the Antichrist? What is everyone thinking? Hmm. And do we become? Or do we fight him? I mean, come on now. I ain't gonna become him. No. No, no, no. We're gonna fight the Antichrist. You ready? Okay, that leads over to this this branching path here. I like the cover for this one. Go ahead and inspect it. This one is by Pure, which created another game called a Baby Steps on the first chain game, which was a very weird, a really weird one. Left mouse button to attack, right mouse button to deflect. Okay, we have some music there. Flashing lights, distressed baby cry. Oh gosh. Okay, showdown. Let's inspect the tape. Showdown. Okay. Let's go ahead and give him a good old showdown. Disappointing. You are a fool if you ever thought you had a chance at winning. No, this can't be it. I can't die here. Lucy. Catherine, don't give up. Oh, it's Kronos' cat. By a divine blessing, your strength will allow you to strike evil from this world. How futile. Okay. Ah, I got it. Yo, what's up with this music? Okay, I- I am sucking at this, okay. We're gonna hit him enough so he goes up. Okay, let's just try to time it. This music is, uh, pretty good. Patience, patience. I'm not sure the shadows are a little funked up. He's almost up there. Oh man.
Venga, venga. Got him. Slender Man. Oh, it's Slender Man. After he's been to Arizona. That's it. That's who that was. Okay. Gotcha. The Antichrist is dead. For now. Catherine, you must listen to me. Once you go back, your life will be in danger. Kronos never wanted to help you. He sent you back in time to facilitate the summoning of the Antichrist in person. Okay, so Cro so Cro okay, so listen, who are we gonna trust? Kronos' cat just said that Kronos didn't want to help us. He wanted he wanted the Antichrist to be summoned. So is Kronos working with the Antichrist? Hmm. You were n meant to die here in the past. As long as Kronos lives, you and your ch child's life will never know peace. With this meddling, the Antichrist can come back at any moment. Once you go back, you must kill Kronos before he realizes what has happened. Lucy, she's alive, back at your home. That's as much as I can say. But trust me when I say that Kronos' death ensures her well-being. Did Kronos really betray me? And why so cryptic about Lucy? Is she really safe? I have to make sure she's okay. What should I do? Okay, it's decision time. What should Cat do? Hmm. Should she start looking for Lucy? Or should she be confronting Kronos about this? Hmm. Whew. This is this is a bit of a tough a tough one. Does she go? Uh, hmm. Well, the thing is, if she starts looking for Lucy, Lucy may not actually be back home. Is this could be an endless search for Lucy, and she's not home. But we do know where Kronos is. But I'm gonna say confront Kronos. Okay, what do we have here? We have Loop Town by Lunar Finch. Move with WASD, interact with left mouse button. Okay, no rating. Okay, a bunch of squ squibbly squabbly. There's Lucy right there. Isn't there like a TV show called Lucy, the, the uh, daughter of the devil? Is that what's... I wonder if, if, if Lucy is actually the, the spawn of the Antichrist. Isn't that funny? Okay, here we go. Loop Town. Let's go ahead and hop on in. Ah, it's Animal Crossing. <laughs> Hello again, my friend. Friend, you lied to me. Uh, even even the the, uh, the sounds are like Animal Crossing. Hmm. How so? You expect me to die fighting the Antichrist? You work for him. Them. No, that's not strictly true. I consider us to be business partners. Oh, so look, he comes out with it. He's admitting it now. Kronos and the Antichrist are business partners. Oh. You see, they seed fear and hate in the hearts of human. And when the time comes, I reap the harvest. What the hell are you saying? Your world is stuck in a loop. This iteration is dying, so your time has come. Not if I stop you first. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Wait, it says what? With a sword? <laughs> ah, she still has the sword. A mortal like you can do nothing against me. Your place is in the dust. But sir, this woman served you well in the past. Does she not deserve a reward? Hmm. Alright, I guess she does. Now, at the end of your world, I grant you one final day with your daughter. 
Will that make you happy, Catherine? This isn't over. One final day? Come on, Mal. Come on, man. Oh, it never is. You have one day. Make sure it counts. <laughs> Our final day with Lucy. Hmm. Where am I? Oh, no. Oh. I should not have said that. This is bad. What is bad? What is this place? Is Lucy here? Kronos has lied again. He has trapped us. He is toying with you. I am so sorry. But wait, this might give us the edge we need. Kronos des derives his power from three artifacts. They should be here, somewhere. So if I find them, I'll be able to defeat him? I hope so. Oh, but we do not have much time. At midnight, your world will end. Then, let's begin the search. You still have to find some of Kronos' belongings. Remember, you have until midnight to find all three. Hurry up. No, no, I don't want to keep talking to you, darn cat. Alright. Oh. <laughs> so soon now, mommy. The starless night is coming. Oh, Lucy, um, yeah? Yeah? Why don't you come for me? Why didn't you come for me? Did you forget, mommy? I thought you loved me. Honestly, we kind of look look like a boy. We really do not look look like a girl. Okay, here's one of his artifacts. I am the eternal hourglass. The flow of my sands is the inevitable passage of time. I have existed forever, and forever I will. Okay. I'm not talking to you fake, fake Lucy's. That's another fake Lucy over here. Yes, fake Lucy. You can't stop this. Just give up. Stay here with me, mommy. No, thank you. I am the crystal eye. I see the past, present, and future of all beings, real or imagined. I look at the never wears might mightubs and could haves of humanity and judge them. Oh, it's getting dark now. Getting dark. Got one more to find. It's a grave site, I see. Yes, fake Lucy? What do you want? <laughs> this is where Daddy is buried. Do you remember? I can't wait to meet him again soon. Sure, fake fake Lucy? Okay. Okay, third and final artifact. I am the scythe of endings. When the last breath of the multiverse is e exhaled, I will be there to treasure it. Do not fear me as I am here for you. Okay, so now we have all three artifacts of Kronos, which means we can defeat him. Let us quickly go back to the cat. Not us, because our name is also cat. It's interesting. The cat doesn't seem to have a name, at least not in this game, or maybe not in this in this branch. I got them all. Oh, I see you found the three artifacts. And just in time, it is almost midnight. I saw some bad things while I was looking for these. Tell me, what what is this place? Those things, they aren't Lucy, right? I am so sorry you had to go through the experience. This place can bring out some of the worst memories. But it is not the real Earth. You can still save it. And the real Lucy. It is time. Are you ready to face Kronos? I am. 
Let's kick his ass. Okay, let's say it's time to make another choice. Mmm, excuse me. You weren't meant to return from the halls of time. Never mind. You are too late. Your world is sublimating as we speak. I hope you enjoy your last day. You can't say I'm not generous. Boss. Hmm. Kronos. This woman has fought bravely for her world. I believe humanity deserves another chance. You too. I won't tolerate this. I am Lord of Time. I am the all-consuming. Oh, shut up already. It's over, Kronos. What? Ow. No, no. This can't be happening. A mortal shall never bear this power. Alright, Catherine. I concede. This world must end. It is not my choice. But I can give you a new life with your daughter in the next one. Return my artifacts and I'll keep my world. Keep, keep my world. He is lying again. Kill him, Catherine, and take his power for yourself. It is the only way to stop the loop. Okay, decision time. Should I? Do we take Kronos' power or do we actually trust him and I guess be reborn? Hmm. Hmm. Ugh. Honestly, I kind of want to take the powers for ourselves. I must say. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take, take his powers for ourselves. Okay. The un unraveling by Modus Interactive. We have seen many games from Modus Interactive, such as Neko Yume, the, uh, the uh, cat game, The Snow of Basidia, which was an amazing one, Knights Fly, ARD. Amazing games that this developer has, so I have high expectations for this, for this particular game. Um, okay. The Unraveling. WASD to move, left mouse button to use artifact, right mouse button to switch artifact. Okay. What does it say down here? A thrilling conclusion. That's right. This is the end of one of the branches. So this is... There would not be a decision at the end of this one. It's completely blank, okay? Okay. Go ahead and uh, play it. Where? Where are we? Oh, this looks just like the snow of ba Abbasidea. I see the uh, cat head over there, too. We are nowhere. An unplace. I have failed my duties as the god of order. Okay, so... Prono okay, and, and, and the cat's name is... Themis? Okay, so the cat's name is now Themis, and it is the god of order. I'd like to have a talk, too. Kronos has begun to unravel time itself, rather than saccade his power to you. The artifacts provide a small degree of temporal stability. We may continue to exist here, for now. So what can we do to stop this? Kronos will not take Lucy away from me. You still possess the artifacts, perhaps. Yes, I can see vortexes of crystallized time forming in the wake of Cronus's wrath. If you gather their power, you should be able to assume Cronus's power and replace him as god of time. I'll do whatever it takes. I'm coming, Lucy. I'll guide you through this unplace as many times as it takes to stop Cronus. Let's go. That's right, Superman 64. Press the left mouse button to activate your equipped artifacts. Use the use the scythe of endings to break. Okay. Press the rest mouse button to activate temporal vortex to reveal. Okay. The hourglass. Start over from the beginning. Okay. 
no, you missed a vortex. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and, and go back, I guess. Uh, gonna have to get a use to some of this. Okay, there we go. We restarted time. So what does this one do again? Okay, this is just like an attack, I guess. Okay, there's a vortex down down there, it looks like. Okay. Okay, I I missed one. It's going to take a little bit to get used to the Superman 64 stuff. Okay. Let's use the eyes. This is one over over here. There you go. This one here. Okay. Better just say screw it to using the sword thing. Okay, there's one over here. I think they were doing Superman 64. Darn it, I missed it. Do I have to start all the way back at the beginning? Okay, this is this is gonna this is gonna be hard. Okay. Next one is there. Get rid of that. Reveal the next one. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Darn it, I missed that again! Do I have to go back? Oh, I have to. Oh, gosh darn it. Okay, let's just not even use the eye. Do I even need to really use the eye? I guess I kind of do if I want to know secret ones like this. But I already have, have the general idea as, as to where the, uh, these are. I had high hopes for this game, but no. Not anymore. Don't miss a cat. Hey, you missed it! Oh my gosh. We're stuck at the beginning of this stupid game. Just like Superman 64, to be completely honest with you. Exactly like Superman 64. There is no difference here. <laughs> Okay, okay. Hopefully we have, like, unlimited health or something. Don't miss this one, cat. Why do you keep missing it? Okay, good. There should be a different key to, like, restart. I should just, I should just be able to just use all my powers. Okay, it's the furthest I've made it. Hey, you're trapped in that. Get down! Woman! Oh, she was trapped inside of the wall. Please don't tell me I gotta restart the whole thing over again. Oh. Oh my gosh. Superman 64. Okay, at least we have a much better idea as, as to where they are now. We're not venturing into the unknown. I could probably just keep keep my swords out. I know where a, a lot of these suckers are. Okay, okay. You remain 64 the game that, that that pisses me off. Yep. And this is why. Oh my gosh, you missed it. You missed it. You didn't slice it. 
You didn't slice it. That one is really hard, hard to get, though. Yes, 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 yes. This is why I, I would never do a playthrough of Superman 64. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Okay. The rings from that game haunt my nightmares. Yeah, well, now these rings will haunt, haunt your nightmares. Don't miss it. Okay, good. Yes, that was the final time vortex, and now let's 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 let us confront Kronos. Okay, good. All I had to do was get that la last time. Kronos, where the heck are you? You're going down, man. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. He's near. Prepare yourself. Cronus, show yourself, coward. There he is. There he is. He has a gigantic face. Hello, my old friend, Catherine Thymus. Cronus, you have to stop this madness. This entire multiverse will cease to be. The multiverse will cease to have ever been. The gods have grown corrupt. Even Themis, the god of order, uses you as a tool. Themis wants to stop you, Kronos, and I would do anything if it means I can get Lucy back. Foolish. The appearance of the Antichrist set this path in motion. And it must now end. Okay. It, go ahead and, and defeat this this freaking idiot. Okay, wait. Okay, so we gotta like attack up here, I guess. I can sense temporal disturbances around Kronos. Use the crystal eye to try to find find the weak point. Okay, there's one here. Okay. One here. There we go. One up here. One here. Okay, it's getting a bit harder now. Got it. And we're right there. There's the next one right down here, okay. Okay, did, did I get it? Okay, I think I got that one now. No, it's a little bit further down. There we go. No! The multiverse must cease. You cannot stop the unraveling. Now, Catherine, use the power to collect... To... You collect it from the temporal vortexes. Make yourself the new god of time. Ah! The multiverse should never have been... Looks like Cat Catherine is going to be the, the a new the new god of time. Oh, look how beautiful.
and she gets to spend time now with Lucy as the god of time. She's the god of time. That what a what a sweet end. What what a sweet end that was. So yeah, that is just one of the endings. So yeah, as I said, there is no choice there because that is that branching path. So I think what we'll do, we, we would do one more. We're going to go back to the previous one in Loop Town and we can fast forward. So we fast forward it here. This is when Kat was making the choice to either become the God of Time or pretty much give the artifacts back to Kronos and be reborn. That is what we're going to be choosing now. And this is also one that end, ends here. So this will be another ending. Let's go ahead and inspect it. Would you want to see all of time before your eyes? What else would there be? By razor fingers, huh? And this one is called All of Time. It doesn't say it here, but in the game files, that is that is what it's what it's called. Left mouse button to interact in advanced dialogue. Okay, let's go ahead and check out our, our, our final one. All right. Come on. There you go. Mommy. Uh, so, what's it going to be? Come on, you know you want the power to set things, right? Okay, so here, here are the choices that we've made. Yep, there was that game. I can give you a new life with your daughter in the next universe. And then he rewinds time again. And it all re repeats. Mommy! So what's it going to be? Come on, you know, with the power. Fine. I'll be your host. Well, that's not an option that, that we chose last time. We didn't choose... We did not choose that option, but interesting. What happens then? We don't know. We don't know on that on that path. We don't know. I can give you a new life with your daughter in the next universe. Lucy, I'll be with you in the next universe, I swear. So what's it going to be? Look, he, he's he's bald. Okay, that, let's, let's just say, let's go Satan, okay? TV announcer. In quite a shocking turn of events, the Antichrist is the new president of the United States. You're right! You are so right! All presidents, at least during my lifetime, have been the Antichrist. You're absolutely right! Oh my gosh, this this game. So yeah, what a crazy year it's been. Yeah, it has been pretty crazy. Goodbye, Mr. President. Ah, so that's who did it. So that's... That is who, who did it. I guess I can stay here just a little longer. Okay, so this is if she stays in Loop Town with all of the fake Lucys. Mom, things will be different in the next universe, I swear. Weird Kitty. Okay, finally, with Kronos out of the way, I can take the power of the God of Time for myself. We should do this more often. Oh, look. Cat? The Antichrist and Kronos all just getting some beers. Sorry, Mommy. The Antichrist is right. This world needs more chaos. Oh no, Lucy. What has Lucy done? So these are all, like, I guess, different possible outcomes that could have happened depending on choices that we make. As we keep going back in time, rewinding again and again and again and again and again. I like his middle fingers. Hi, a cat. Where am I? Antichrist. Is that you? That is me. Thought I'd take you into the realm for a short while. 
so I could let my hair down, relax in my true form. And have a nice chat without old Kronos bothering us. Wait, you're going against Kronos? I thought you two were business partners. Business partner? Is that what he's calling me? <laughs> what a huge nerd. Kinda sweet though, and not entirely wrong. We are business partners. We are also bitter rivals, sworn enemies, best of friends. Even lovers sometimes. Oh my gosh, so they have such a weird dynamic then. Regardless of what to call this weird relationship, we are nevertheless so bound to each other. Destined to fight for all eternity, but to never say it's never stay apart. Much in the same way that light and shadow cannot exist independently, yet are fundamentally opposites. An unstoppable force and an unmovable object. We've been doing this whole song and dance since... Well, since forever. Quite literally, actually. Weird. Time is weird. Only problem there is... I'm getting kind of sick of it. Then why don't you just stop? This, that's the funny thing about fate, isn't it? I just can't. We're meant to keep doing this forever. It's what we do. We can't just try. We can try to stop it, but it inev inevitably happens again, and the cycle continues. And that's fine and all, but we're, we've been doing this for so long that it's become predictable. By this point, I have seen every possibility, every outcome, every twist and turn. I'm an agent of chaos and freedom. I thrive in the unpredictability of the universe, but nothing is unpredictable to me anymore. I've seen it all. Kronos says he likes it. He always talks about things like keeping the order and fulfilling our destinies. I think he's full of sh though. I can see it in his face. He's just as tired as I am. If he didn't want this to end, you probably wouldn't be here right now. But why am I here? Why are you telling me all this? I hate to be the one to break this to you, but you're sitting right in the eye of the hurricane in this one. For some reason, you and your daughter are the only constants in this whole thing. No matter how many times the universe resets, how differently we do things, you two always manage to get caught up in it. Sometimes you're fighting alongside Kronos in a valiant attempt to kill me. Other times, you give up your body and become my host. We wreak some havoc together, which we'll be able to see next time when we actually make that decision. Sometimes Kronos betrays you. Sometimes I do. Sometimes you kill me, sometimes you kill Kronos, sometimes you take our places, then Lucy kills you, and vice versa. Doesn't matter what happens, but you two are destined to always be there. And I hate to break it to you, but you two are also destined to never be together. Well, that's, that is a shame. Sorry, it kind of sucks. I guess fate has it out for you. But why? Why me? I'm just a normal human. Ugh. I hate to reuse metaphors. But you're also an immovable, immovable object. You're special, Cat. It's your fate to be away from your daughter. It's impossible to go against it. And yet, in every single timeline, you fight tooth and nail against that fate. You live millions of lives. 
Oh, I, 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 I like the different images here. Very interesting. In millions of universes. You made millions of choices. You went up against literal gods. All for the sake of your daughter. And yet, fate always finds a way. A way to keep you apart. Because fate is also an unstoppable force. And so, somehow, the universe is reset. Time loops in on it on itself, and we try to do things differently in this new timeline. Sometimes Kronos wipes everything. Sometimes I do it. Even you and Lucy manage to do it sometimes. You just can't seem to ever get your happily ever after. However, even with that knowledge, there is not a single universe in which you give up. Not a single one where you and your daughter simply decide to stay apart. That's why, that's what's so fascinating about humankind. So fascinating about you. Even when faced against impossible odds, the human spirit can never be fully broken. You are the true agents of chaos. It took me a long while to realize that, but you really are the key to all of this. The only way we can break free from this eternal cycle, if you never existed in the first place, so the only way to stop this cycle is if Kat never existed. Because obviously she is an integral part of why the universe keeps repeating and all the different things that are happening. I know that's a lot to ask of a single person, but I don't see any other way, and I've seen it all. We are only stuck in this loop because you're too freaking stubborn. The whole universe is looping with you. This wild joy ride the four of us are on, it affects everyone. This obviously includes Lucy. She's gone through as many timelines as you have and suffer just as many as you in any of them. She's just as stubborn as her mother. Me and Kronos can't willingly do this sacrifice. We tried. You're so pig-headed that you somehow find a way to take our place, so you can try to be reunited with your daughter. She does this, the same for you too, in some timelines. This sacrifice must come from you. Fine. What? No, okay, fine. Fine. What? Fine. I'll do it. If disappearing from all timelines is what it takes for Lucy to have a peaceful life, then I'll do it. But answer me this. If I disappear... Will she still exist? Honest answer? I don't know. Not even Kronos would know. We've never been to a timeline without you. She might end up being born into a new family where she'll live a peaceful, boring life. She might become an entirely new person with entirely new memories. What I can say for certain is, nothing will remain the way it is now. Even if we somehow still exist without you, we certainly won't be the same ones you know. Isn't that kind of exciting though? Stepping into the unknown for the first time, an universe unburdened by the chains of destiny. A truly chaotic world. A world free from this stagnant cycle. 
I couldn't dream of anything more beautiful. Anyway. I'll give you one final choice. When you're ready to go, you can press this button. You'll disappear entirely, and the world will be reborn without you. You don't have to press it, though. You can stay here for as long as you want. Choosing not to make a choice is a choice in its own right. We can keep chatting some more if you want. I do appreciate the company. Been a while since anyone was down here. But this really is the end of our little game. We ran through all the possibilities. It was a fun ride. Whenever you're ready, you know what to do. No need to rush. We got all the time in the world. Okay, so before we do anything now... So, the interesting thing was, like, we've seen all the possibilities, so... This is our first run through the game, essentially, and... We've seen two endings. This is the second ending that we ended up getting. And this seems more like a very true ending to this collection, if you noticed. Basically saying that... The Antichrist saying that every time the universe is repeating Kronos, Cat, Lucy, and himself are always mixed up in this somehow. Lucy's always trying, I mean, Ka Catherine's always trying to, to uh, find Lucy, always causing problems. All this sort of stuff happens, and obviously they have seen every possibility at this point. And the only way to venture into a, a new existence, a, a new reality, is if Cat did not exist at all. So he presented a button to us to pretty much wipe us entirely from this universe so that we're no longer part of this universe. And that's the choice that we have to make. To allow Lucy to, I guess, be free on her own and not have us. Let's go ahead and talk. That was a lot of information. You can't just dump all of that on a girl in one go. How would you rather I do it? I don't know. I guess there's not an easy way to tell someone that they're going to need to disappear from all timelines to save the world from being stuck in an eternal loop. I did the best I could with what I had, honestly. Explained the full situation, gave some words of encouragement. I thought about getting, giving, getting you a farewell gift, but I don't think you could take it with you. I would appreciate the gesture, though. Okay, let's talk to him some more. I know that I just have to do this. And if this is what it takes to giving Lucy a peaceful life, then I'm going to do it. But I can't say I'm not scared. Yeah, I get it. Not everyone's used to jumping headfirst into the unknown like that. Kronos must be freaking out right now. He's always... he always knows everything, you know? This must all be very new to him. I should probably check up on him. Oh, he'll get over it. Are you scared, Antichrist? Sorry, but I'm actually really excited. I know it's kind of a tragic situation for you. And I promised you could stay here for as long as you wanted. So I swear I'm not going to rush you. But I am so effing excited. Yeah, to see some new possibilities. If you've seen it all, you want something new. Imagine all the possibilities. Yeah, I guess you're right. When I imagine a world where Lucy can be happy, I get excited too. But now that I know you're hyped, it 
part of me wants to wait as long as possible before I press that button. Oh, oh devilish. We have a lot in common, you know? Oh, shut up. I'm not pressing it yet. I'm going to talk to him some more. Can we watch TV? You know, I was only half joking back there. When I said you and I have a lot in common, I think it's probably part of the reason we're in this situation in the first place. You have some crazy chaotic energy. I respect that a lot. I'm not that chaotic. You saw an or ornamental sword in an office and you thought, hmm, guess I can use this and you hacked up the whole place. I had to do it. There were haunted spirits there. <laughs> there was also the time you told little god of time to shut up already. Which was easily one of my favorite moments from all timelines. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. And then there was the time I became president and you assassinated me. That was a bold move. I don't remember that. It happened. I hope it did. That sounds awesome. But fine. I guess I can be a little impulsive. If I had to guess, Lucy's probably more of the calm and collected type. Kind of like someone I know. Bronus? Bingo. Okay. Hey, Satan. Can I call you Satan? Antichrist is a bit long. Sure, why not? So Satan. If there's a new version of you in this new universe, what would you want to be different about him? I actually think about this a lot. I'd like to see a world where the Antichrist is associated with cool tones. Like a blue or purple Antichrist. Instead of a loud and bombastic, he could be brood and mysterious. And say, Teh, when his enemies challenge him. That would be pretty effing cool for, of him, I think. That would be awesome. So not ready to press the button. So, is this hell? I don't know, honestly. Is hell where Satan resides? Because if so, then yeah, this is hell. If hell is... Is hell where people, where bad people get sent to be punished? In that case, then no. Not really. Where do bad people go, uh, get sent to be punished? Nowhere. They just get reborn into another life, and maybe in that life, they're not so bad. Or they may be even worse. We never know with these things. I mean, Kronos knows. I don't ask him because it ruins the surprise. Okay, be honest. I know Kronos keeps changing his hairstyles between timelines. Now answer me this. What's your favorite one? Oh, please. Obviously the green mohawk. Is there, is, is there even a question? I know, right? I keep telling him to keep it. Just use the green mohawk in all timelines. He then rambles on and on about how this is not his choice and it's all a part of the butterfly effect and everything will happen or always be predestined to be the way it is and blah blah blah. I think he's foolish. He just likes to try out new hairstyles. That, <laughs> that huge dork. <laughs> the hugest. Okay, let me ask you something. Shoot. If I'm the problem here, why didn't you just, I don't know, go back to the past and kill my mother or something, like they do in the movies? Oh, cat. There's a simple-minded way of looking at things. Humans are more than their DNA, you know? 
If we kill your mother, there's still the possibility that another person is born somewhere else who might coincidentally also be named Cat. And also, coincidentally, might have your exact personality traits. And then we end up back here again. Huh? That's a pretty informed take. Did you guys kill my mom? A couple of times, yeah. Sorry. Well, I'm still here, so... I guess it's fine. I hope... I got to kill your mother in some other universe, too. I don't have a mother, Cat. Why does nothing good ever happen to me? So, uh, that form is... quite something. It's a little extra, I know. But you gotta admit, it's pretty freaking metal. Oh yeah, it's metal as f What does Kronos' true form look like? Come on, it's Kronos. He's not one to care much about looks. The only real difference is that he holds that powerful scythe thing on his back. I mean, adding the whole... Damn, scythe, a scythe to your look is probably a metal enough. For some people, I guess. You probably had a bunch of hosts over all, all these timelines. Do you have a favorite? That's a tough question. There's... I've had a lot of hosts. Countless office dwellers. A lot of billionaires. Presidents. I, I knew it. I knew that's what I was going to say. A good amount of presidents. I'd say probably like 90% of politicians. 95% of politicians. There was this one really famous singer. She made some popular children's songs. If I had to pick just one, though. You were easily my strongest vessel. No question there. Well, we have not allowed him to be our vessel yet. At least we have not seen that, that outcome yet. Yet. Oh, stop it. <laughs> if there's one thing I regret in all of these timelines, I never got to pet Cronus's cat. Oh, <laughs> darn. I hate that thing. Gives me the creeps. Aw. Is, is big scary Satan scared of kitties? I'm not scared of cats. I just don't trust them. Especially if they're talking three-eyed cats. He betrayed Kronos, didn't he? Typical cat behavior. I don't trust them. No, not one bit. What about dogs? I like dogs. Dogs are very trustworthy. Okay, so Satan is a dog guy. You should get get one. Nah. It wouldn't fit the whole rebellious har harbinger of chaos vibe I've got going. I mean, how much more dialogue does he have, I wonder? Okay. We've got quite a history now, you and I. We're fart over multiple timelines. So be honest with me. Oh? Okay, shoot. Why is your TV so sh- Are you broke, Satan? I stole this one, actually. Took it from Kronos' big TV room. <laughs> that, that prick has like a bunch of TVs. Who would need that many TVs? And why are, there, are they all playing static all this time? I think it's only fair that I get at least one. Huh? So you are broke. We've been chatting pretty casually here. Something I even forgot that you're literally Satan. And that you have a cult that kidnaps children. Now that I think about it, maybe I should just press that button and go. I mean, cult cults just happen, you know? People will always follow anything that advocates for freedom and rebellion. What about children kidnapped and murdered? I didn't specifically ask them to do that. Can't you just tell them to stop? Now that 
would have been very chaotic of me, would it? Now that wouldn't be very chaotic of me, would it? The chaos can only happen if I take a hands-off approach and let people do their thing. Humans are simple-minded creatures, though. When they hear the word chaos, their brain immediately defaults to violence. What kind of things do you mean when you talk about chaos? Anything that surprises me, actually. There's this one guy. He somehow managed to convince thousands of people that taking freezing showers could give you some sort of spiritual awakening. Can you imagine convincing so many people to suffer through cold showers daily? And out of their own volition, too. That guy's a mastermind. He showed way more chaos than any of my flimsy cultists, that's for sure. You remember the freezing shower guy? Who, who, who was the freezing shower guy? Hmm, I don't know. And without any violence, too. Very devilish indeed. Wyoming was crazy, huh? Well, we didn't go to Wyoming. We did not go to Wyoming. This should be this should have been the ending that we should have gotten last, but we're getting it first. We're getting some deep insight into the other the other endings, the other branches. Yeah. What a trip. Do you like Wyoming or Kyoto better? I don't know. I like Kyoto in the summer. Temperatures get kind of crazy hot there. Wyoming is kind of elevated, so the climate is a little too pleasant for me. And Kyoto has samurai swords. Kyoto does have samurai swords. Anywhere else you wish you could go to? Oh, I've been everywhere by this point. You did too, though you probably can't remember it all. Come on, humor me. Just pick a place. Hmm... If I had to pick a place to go right now, probably Brazil. Let's play Never Ha- This just goes on and on and on. Could we sit here for like an hour? Let's play Never Have I Ever. Hmm. I don't think I've ever played that. Okay. You start. Hmm. Let's see. Never Have I Ever. Kissed a girl. I kissed a girl and I liked it. <laughs> that was intentionally bad, by the way. You have, actually. <laughs> That's right, she went all Katy Perry up in here. In quite a few timelines. Oh. Well, I guess that's not too surprising. Hmm. Never have I ever stole something. Oh, you stole a bunch of things. <laughs> I mean, most... Mostly where I was in your body, but still. That doesn't count. It's still you. Ugh. Never have I ever been to effing space. Um. Oh, come on. <laughs> She's done it all. So, isn't Kronos coming to say goodbye to me? I don't think so. Kronos doesn't like coming here very much. Why? Because of the heat? Yeah, that too. Also the fact that this is where I'm strongest and I'd literally end up attacking him on sight. But the heat is probably the biggest factor. That's lame. I wish I could see what his realm looks like. I've been there a couple times. He's got a bunch of TVs, most of them playing static for some reason. There's a big one that ex that's exclusive for movie night, though. You guys have movie nights? That's cute. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. He invites me over. We watch some random movie. Then he goes, Haha, you fool, I tricked you into stepping foot into my realm where my powers are unmatched. <laughs> and then we make out and have sex all night. Then he tries to kill me. I usually make sure to make just enough of a mess so that he has to reset the timeline anyways. <laughs> so I remain alive afterwards. 
It became a bit of a tradition at this point. Oh, that's very cute. You guys are cute together. In a twisted, effed up sort of way. I know, right? <laughs> so, is this hell? Okay, I think, I think it's looping back around finally. Yep, I think it's finally looping back around. Let's see, let's talk one more time. Yep. Well, it's time for the big decision now. And that is, in order... In order for this timeline to no longer continuously repeat, which we have not seen all of the possible outcomes yet, we must now... Press the button so that cat no longer exists. She'd be removed from the world, from this timeline, from all timelines. And then Kronos, the Antichrist, and Lucy can go on in a different timeline. Okay. I think I'm ready. Oh, Kronos, I said bye. I probably won't, given that, you know, I probably won't remember your existence and might not even exist myself. But I wouldn't be surprised if he was watching all this happen from one of his dumb TVs. Very, <laughs> very in character of him. Thanks for the chat, Satan. I was, it was an honor fighting you to the death in all these timelines. Maybe even more of a honor to just chill with you here for a little while. Yeah, it was fun. Actually helped a lot. Good luck in the next universe. I hope things turn out differently for you too. Goodbye, Satan. Lucy? You got one hell of a mom. I hope I leave a good universe for you. Wow. See, it, that, that is like the, that feels like that is like the canon ending. You know, the, the true ending. And we got to see it on the first part. Okay, so that's actually going to do it for this part of Chained. What we did is we went to Kyoto. We fought the Antichrist. We took, I guess, um, sin after that, what, what did we do? We, um... Confronted Kronos. We then took Kronos' power and then we were reborn and now the universe without Cat. But what we're going to be doing next time is we're actually going to head back to some of these previous ones and make a different decision. We're going to make a different decision and see what the different outcomes are since if you can see all these purple dots, they're all different games, all different choices that we could make. Next time, on change.